is where it all begins. The leap of faith. The first step to the journey. Towards the unknown. The challenging. The daunting. But when we're together. Hand in hand. The journey becomes... Exciting. We're partners, you and I, together, facing your fears, pursuing your passion, breaking boundaries, building your future, overcoming challenges, celebrating every achievement. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. A partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN. For one team makes it to the semifinals while the other team just walks out of here having known that their storied season finally comes to an end for the btn tls knights of course they want that trip to the finals they want to make sure that this home crowd stays very very happy but at the same time for the mono vampire the eighth seed over three in this building wanting to get that first win tonight and a trip to their second straight finals appearance it has come down to this here in game three of the semifinals of the 2019 ASEAN Basketball League the BTN CLS Knights along with the Mono Vampire one team advances the other team goes home my name is Noel Zarate alongside Marco Benitez and game three we've had this six times in our history and Marco of those six times five times the home team took the prize Mono Vampire facing difficult odds here as there's only been one time where a visiting team has won a game three. The keys for the BTN CLS Knights, the home squad, everybody needs to rebound so far. They have been out rebounded by the Mono Vampire. They need to play good defense, get out on the break. They are the, they are the better fast breaking team. So they need to dictate tempo, especially here at home. And of course, they are also the better assisting team. They need to mo move the ball around and play more together. As a team, they average about 21 assists per ball game. Mono Vampire averages about 19 assists per ball game. Tough odds here for Mono Vampire. They want to be one of the first eight seeds to overcome this 1-1 uh, deficit or this home court disadvantage against the BTN CLS Knights. We go back to game number one, of course, played in this building, 86 to 77, pretty much a wire-to-wire -wire win for the BTN CLS Knights, but the big number again, 10 three-point field goals made in that one. And that is the key here for the BTN CLS Knights, number one team in terms of three-point shooting. Connected on 10 in that game, only had eight, 
in game two. It was the second chance points. That was one of the keys for Mono Vampire, of course, together with the offensive rebounding. So the domination inside the paint is one of the things that Mono Vampire will look for, of course, aside from their perimeter defense against the CLS Knights. It feels like New Year's Day inside the Gorgir Najaya Gymnasium. This place is an absolute sellout. It has been a sellout since 48 hours ago. So the Indonesians want to see another finals appearance. Of course, their last finals appearance came all the way back in 2012 when they lost to the San Miguel Beermen. But they did win a championship in 2011. They want to make sure that they make it to the finals. We're waiting in the wings as the Singapore Slingers will be having home court throughout the final same thing can be said about mono vampire they want a return trip to the final but what a cinderella story it has been we'll talk more about that in just a bit right now the player introductions are starting let's send it over to courtside And the coach, Tongkiat Singh Hasene, assistant coach, Chakapan Pong Pantaran, and Supakati Tongtim. Salam Satu Nyali! Salam Satu Nyali! Salam Satu Nyali!
Saya minta tolong kepada semuanya kita nyanyi dengan keras teriak Kalau mungkin boleh kita buat tim lawan merinding dengan lagu kebangsaan kita And this is our national anthem, Indonesia Raya As it has been all season long, one of the best player introductions in this building here at the Gorka the Giant Gymnasium. And it will be Freddie Leish getting the start here today at point guard for Mono Vampire Thailand. Well, Coach Tong rewarding his stellar play the past two games. Meanwhile, back to the usual starters for the BTN CLS Knights, Brandon Jawato, after serving that one game suspension in game two, now back here in game three. And as you mentioned, he is going to be raring to go here for the BTN CLS Knights. Our officials record Boron of the Philippines, Chu Wei Chuan of Malaysia. And uh, we have another referee coming in from Hong Kong. And that knight must be at least seven feet tall. They should probably look to get him as a local player next time around. Maxi Esho, game one, 21 points. Didn't do too well in game two because he had to do the work of two players himself and a Brandon Jawato himself, but Doug Herring carried the load practically in game two. You see the numbers of Doug Herring, 22 points, 8 of 18 from the field, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, but I think the crucial stat there is just the 4 assists. He's going to have to really distribute the ball and play make some more as Brandon Jawato averaging about 13 points per game, had 18 in game one, missing in game two, and this is the guy that is big for Mono Vampire, single Terry, six points in the first half of game two, exploding for 25, 19 in the second half, He's going to be crucial. Malcolm White, of course, carried the big load in the first half, finishing with 18 points, and he's one of the guys that Mono uses to dominate inside the paint in terms of inside scoring and rebounding. Now, the two guys we haven't mentioned for Mono are actually the two guys who have championship experience. Tyler Lamb, now playing as a local after winning a championship for Hong Kong Eastern a couple of seasons ago, and the mid-season acquisition of Romeo Travis, who had helped his team in the Philippine Basketball Association win a championship. Now, th these are two players with championship experience. This should loom large in this road game. But, of course, when it comes to the coaching, Brian Rousem should have the uh, tops on Coach Tong in this one. He has been with this team from the very start, and what a season it has been for the CLS, the BTN CLS Knights because of that man on your screen. Uh, that is correct, Noel. Uh, starting the season 2-7, and seven, making that mid-season change, and then rattling off seven straight wins, finishing as the number four seed. But as you mentioned, Romeo Travis will be critical here for Mono Vampire. Does not overwhelm you with his scoring, but does a little bit of everything, averaging almost he can average actually a close to a triple double had 50 just 15 points in game two but also scattered seven rebounds or make that nine rebounds yeah. 12 rebounds and seven assists so he is the guy that usually plays the high post so when malcolm white dives inside the paint travis is usually open from about 15 to 17 feet and where he is so deadly and so far in this series marco 
but the Mono Vampire have actually dominated in the rebounding category. It has not translated for victory in game number one because of the hot shooting of the BTM CLS Knights, but they really flex their muscles in game two. But in game two, they had a 21 to 7 offensive rebound advantage, right. 54 to 35 rebounding advantage. So if you're the BTN CLS, you do not necessarily have to win the rebounding battle, but as long as you can be competitive there and eliminate a lot or some of those second chance points for Mono Vampire, then you'll be in good shape. Of course, you are expected, talking about the BTN CLS, to dictate the tempo here at home. Get out on the break and score in transition. 16 wins, 3 losses in this building this season for the BTN CLS Knights. And for Mono Vampire, they're 0 for 3 in this building. What a story it's going to be for Wang Wei Long. If they do make it to the finals, Wang Wei Long will be going up against a team that has nurtured him from, from the get-go in the uh, in the ASEAN Basketball League, the Singapore Slingers. It has been in the finals three of the last four seasons. So if Wang Wei Long can bring, make it back into the finals this time with his BTN CLSI, that's going to be one of the main stories to look at going to the finals and he's back Brandon Joato what a big factor his absence was for the BTN CLS Knights in game number two both teams at full strength as it should be once again one team walks out of here with a date with the Singapore Slingers in the finals while the other team just walks out of here mono vampire in orange purple for the BTN CLS Knights all bets are off in this one welcome to game three the final semi-finals matchup of the season here in the night season of the ASEAN basketball league and you know noel before we get it going just a couple of keys for most vampire number one start the game aggressive cannot afford to go down early against the home squad number two play great defense on the perimeter limit the number one three-point shooting team in the league and of course take care of the basketball 16 turnovers in game one managed to trim it down to just 12 in their win game two we are underway with mono vampire having first crack at the basket and malcolm white will come up empty Rebound picked up by Daryl Watkins, and this crowd tells you who's got the ball. That's right, and you know, Daryl Watkins will also be very critical. He does not, he should not get into foul trouble. As you know, that was one of the things that hampered him in game two. How about this three on one going the other way? Malcolm White! Great feed coming from Singletary, and that is an indication of the energy level of Mono Vampire in this game. If, my, if Mike Singletary, if Mike Singletary can really facilitate well facilitate well here for the Mono Vampire squad he's going to help out and contribute to the confidence of Malcolm White here's Wang Wei Long now going to Maxi Escho he has to get involved early Escho with a counter slam how about that and Maxi Escho that is one of the things that he can take advantage of he has the quickness advantage against Romeo Travis if he, he can put the ball on the floor Definitely will be good. Will be a good sign here for the home squad. What a start. Two dunks on both ends of the floor. Great defense by Watkins that time. White was looking for a foul. And here comes Herring into the front court. Esho getting a full head of steam. He's tripped by Tyler Lamb. And into the front court goes Mono Vampire. Lamb getting it over to Romeo Travis, hesitating for a moment. Travis on the post-up tries to get in closer. And Travis misses from about six feet away. A sorry miss on the part of Romeo Travis. Max Yesher actually stopped defending him once he got about five feet or three feet away from the basket. Just a sorry miss there for Travis. Still tied at two on two dunks. One from White, one from Esho. Watkins needs to get involved early. Frontal assault a little too strong. And the battle for the rebound. And that's going to be a team rebound going the way of Mono Vampire. And that's great defense there on the part of Malcolm White. If he can be consistent on that. He, they can pretty much cancel out each other here. Talking about Daryl Watkins and Malcolm White. We're coming up on two minutes gone by here in the first quarter. Still tied at two. And but remember, a low-scoring game would favor the road team. Mono Vampires, Singletary knocks it down from straight away. That's a nice play run there by Mono Vampire, focusing the ball on the right side of the floor. And then that kick-out pass coming from Tyler Lamb to Mike Singletary. Hits his first triple of the game. That's a good sign for the visiting team. Watkins operating inside, gets it back, it's a deuce. It's still a one point lead for Mono Vampire, but you like the aggression being shown by Watkins early. Here's Leash, trying to get unleashed once again. Pardon the pun, Freddie Leash from deep. Doesn't work. That's good defense there on the part of Wong Wei Long. Those are the shots that they want Freddie Leash to take. Jawato 
first triple of the game for the BTNTLS Knights. And they love stroking it in this building. That is what they sorely missed in game two. The outside shooting and the defensive presence of Brandon Jawato. Right now, he's matched up against Tyler Lamb. Lob pass inside, just tipped away by Daryl Watkins. A little telegraph intended for Romeo Travis from Malcolm White. And Coach Brian Rossum telling his team to talk on defense. Lucky break there for Mono Vampire. Would have been a steal for the Knights. Turnovers, one of the things that we're going to be constantly looking at here, Noel, in this game. Leash on the inbound. Romeo Travis, 20-footer, comes up short. He's 0 for 2 to begin this contest. Herring pushing it up. Eschel looking at Travis. They will reset. 6 and 45 to go here in the first. Knights up 2. Jawato had the last basket earlier. It was a 3. Nine to shoot now. Doug Herring lost the handle, and they will lose possession. Good defense on the part of Mono Vampire. And if I'm Mono Vampire, apart from a couple of guys, Maxi Esho, Wong Wei Long, possibly even Brandon Jawato, I can afford to pack it inside the paint, give those outside shots to Darren Watkins and possibly even Doug Herring. Well, here's Mike Singletary doing a little bit of point guard chores. He'll be doing a lot of that today. Malcolm White. Is one for three in this game. He had that dunk to start this ball game, but has missed his two perimeter jumpers. Really so difficult to score from the outside here in Gorker to Jaya. Watkins taking it strong, and they say the foul happened on the ground. Malcolm White, sheepish grin on his face. He knows he's going to have a, his hands full because Watkins does have the height and heft advantage over him. But I guess the desired advantage would go to Malcolm White. And, you know, it's a good ploy here by Coach Brian Rosam. They knew that Malcolm White was their thorn on their side in game two. So very deliberately trying to pound the ball into Daryl Watkins to attack the defense of Malcolm White. And we are coming up on six minutes to go here in the first. Night seven, Bono Vampire five. They try to run a pick and pop red well by Tyler Lamb. And that's what you want from Tyler Lamb. His defense is so underrated. Long pass inside. Travis gets inside. And finally a basket for Romeo Travis. And again, this is where Mono Vampire has the advantage. Points inside the paint. They have the bigger lineup, the, the heftier lineup. So if they can continue to pound it inside, that's going to be good for them. Tied at seven right now. Post up play now. Again, Watkins. And this is part of the game plan to get Watkins involved early, but he's being defended well. Long way long, deep three! Number one three-point shooter in the ASEAN Basketball League in terms of three-point three makes. And he pushes the lead up to three once again, 10 to seven. Travis on the post up. Travis gets it over to Malcolm White, another perimeter, Jay. This one drops from the baseline. Again, that's a shot from about 10 feet that Malcolm White can consistently hit. Mono Vampire also trying to pound the ball into that mismatch between Romeo Travis and Maxi Esho. Herring was a little aggressive that time. And if that's on White, that's going to be a second foul. That could be a big factor in this game for Mono. And so far, the strategy of the BTN CLS Knights in pounding the ball inside has worked as they've been able to pick up Yep, that's the second personal foul on Malcolm White. And we're going to have a timeout called with our score, the BTN CLS Knights 10, Mono Vampire 9, first quarter action, and we will be back in just a bit. Tyler Lamb and the rest of Mono Vampire down by one right now, 10-9, the deciding game three of the semifinals, waiting in the wings, as we said earlier, Singapore Slingers, finals begin on May 3, over there, at the OCBC Arena in Singapore. And uh, for Mono Vampire, we mentioned this earlier, Marco, they want to get back to the finals, but what an unlikely story. At one point of the season, you say probably January, you would say that Mono Vampire would be fighting for a final slot today. You'd probably think whoever said that was crazy. And they made a key change, a couple of key changes, bringing in Romeo Travis towards the latter portion of the season, wrapping off. I believe that was six or seven straight wins at one point at the end of the season. They were one of the hottest teams in the league and nobody thought playing against the number one seed for most of the Dreamers that they, were, they, they would be able to sweep the Dreamers, especially get game one at home. At the same time, of course, tie the series up and one win away from a return trip to the finals as Doug Herring makes good on two free throws. Malcolm White did pick up foul number two. He is on the bench. 
as Moses Morgan's gonna see his first action. So Romeo Travis is now gonna play center for this squad. He's at six foot five, but doesn't show it right there. And uh, this is where Mono Vampire has the advantage in terms of depth of their bench. Now that Malcolm White was in foul trouble, Morgan comes in, but they are still a pretty big squad in terms of average height. That's a nice penetration there from Freddie Leash. Firman Lugro seeing his first action of the game as the BTF CLS Knights go big. Drive by Jawato, finds Wong Wei Long, and it's time he comes up short and a chance to regain the lead for Mono. And you know, Noel, interesting move here as Coach Brian Rosom matching up, pulling out Daryl Watkins. Single Terry can't get his second three of the game. Long rebound goes to the Long Ranger. Long way long. Now Doug Herring wants to quicken the pace. Wants an ISO now against Freddie Leash. Freddie's played great so far in this series. Pass out by Long way long was read that time. Tyler Lamb almost with his third steal of yep. the game, but will run out of real estate. Would have been the fourth steal of the game for Mono Vampire. You see the defense of Mono whenever Doug Herring or one of the other players from BTN tries to post up, they collapse inside the paint. Not worried about the three-point shooting of guys other than Doug Herring, Max Yesho, and Wong Wei Long. And so far the three-point shooting has been evened out at this point. When Doug Herring, of course, wants to add to that, and he does. That was a good challenge there on the part of Singletary, just better offense on the part of Doug Herring. Freddie Leash. On the penetration, momentarily bobbles, gets it outside, Singletary on the sidestep. They move it out to Tyler Lamb, wanting to get that three back. Romeo Travis tracking that one down. Now Travis gets the post up against Jawato. They drop down to a zone, double teamed, and they throw it away, taken away now by Doug Herring, one of the leading contenders for Defensive Player of the Year. Herring on the pull up, back to back threes. One of the guys that we can really catch fire here, Doug Herring, had a game where he had eight triples in the regular season, back-to-back -back triples right now. And you mentioned this earlier, Marco, you do not want to have the Knights off to a good start. This is their largest lead of the game, 18-11. Mono Vampire calls time. We'll be right back. Stay with us right here on the ABL. It really sounds like New Year's Day inside this building, especially now because of the back-to-back -back threes coming from Doug Harry, the Knights have built an 18-11 to lead. And that was a quick timeout by Coach Tong of uh, Mono Vampire. And just like that, 6 to nothing run here for the home squad. They've already connected on four triples. Four out of five from long distance. And Maxi Asho hasn't even gotten involved there. Travis has scored a bulk of the points here for Mono in the first. Romeo Travis, one of the bright spots here for Mono Vampire. Nice penetrating pass there from Tyler Lamb. Good move on the part of Travis. Watkins is back, posting up now on Singletary. Singletary gets a piece of that one. They get it out, perimeter J, and if the locals get involved, Fabrio Tomo coming off the bench and knocks it down immediately. And I believe that is Arif Hidayat. Okay, yeah. had 11 points in game one. It was one of the sparks. Good start for him. Nice pass once again. Travis this time overshoots the layup. Eight point lead is the largest of the game for the BTN CLS Knights. Doug Herring, and uh, he is turned back by Mike Singletary, but they keep the ball. And you know, despite the great defense there on the part of Singletary, Doug Herring so good at putting pressure on the defense, keeping them on their heels, that time attacking the defense before they were set. 2.07 to play here in this action pack first quarter. Knights starting to shoot well from the outside. Big catalyst for this eight-point lead. Here's Watkins. Trying to get it over to Jawato. Penetration move. That one is good off the glass. Brandon right Jawato again. And so far, this is the highest scoring first quarter of the BTN CLS Knights with 23 points here in this series. Bank shot three. How about that? Banks are open on Sunday for Tyler Lamb. And that was a big shot, much needed three-point shot for Mono Vampire just to try to stem this run. Hidayat throws that one away, and they go full throttle right now with Tyler Lamb looking at his rearview mirror and missed the layup. Travis is fouled. That is like a moral victory of sorts for 
the BTN CLS Knights. They were outnumbered on that fast break. And you can see Coach Brian Rosam there trying to signal to Arif Hidayat just to stay within his game, stay in control. That time, that wayward pass resulting in a turnover and possibly two points from the line here for Romeo Travis. See that one again, boy. All of a sudden, some hesitation shown by a Tyler Lamb, and Esho slapped with a foul. First personal foul on Maxi Esho. Only the first team foul for the Knights. Fast-paced game we've had so far here in the first quarter in a while. Romeo Travis is carrying the load offensively so far for Mono Vampire. Splits the free throws, rebound Esho. Seven points in the game for, Mo for Romeo Travis, leading scorer for Mono Vampire. And here's that, that if he did, yeah. Here's that matchup with Freddy Leash, which Le Leash really took advantage of in that in game two in, uh, in Thailand. Step back, Herring. Oh my goodness. The BTN CLS Knights are on a different level in this building. And going the other way, Travis is turned back by Watkins. Fast break going the other way. Herring has it poked away. And it's taken away by Singletary. Singletary now leading the attack. It's a two on three. And Watkins had no choice but to give up the foul. And that's a good move there on the part of Singletary, attacking the body of Darrell Watkins. That's going to be the second, or only the first personal foul, rather, on Darrell Watkins. But Singletary is going to head to the line. Remember, in game two, Noel, he was 14 of 15 from the free throw stripe. They gave the earlier foul to Arif Hidayat as we see this one again. Boy, Mike Singletary has been a veteran in this league for quite a while. Was in that final slide up last year when Mono Vampire lost to San Miguel a la Filipinas. And he knocks down his first free throw. So when you talk about championship experience for Mono Vampire, he's leading the way. That is correct. And he's uh, averaging about 25 points per game. Shoots it at a close to 80% from the charity stripe. Knocks down... Those two free throws brings them back to within six. 25 to 19. Coming up on 40 seconds to go. Here in the first. Pick and roll action. Oh, that's a missed layup that time from Daryl Watkins. Good challenge on the part of Travis. We go to the other side right now for Tyler Lamb. Singletary fakes the three. Almost the second personal right there on uh, Watkins as a. Uh, Romeo Travis gets away again. And one good thing for Mono Vampire, despite the run of the Knights, they have kept their composure. And right now, lead is down to just to four points. Esho still looking for his first three today. Moves it closer. Arif Hidayat knocked one down earlier, but misses this time. And that will be last touched on by Singletary. And you know, despite the earlier connection of Hidayat, those are the shots that you would rather BTN ZLS Knights takes. Oh, well, Mike Singletary tried to pull a fast one. Our crew chief, Ricardo Boron of the Philippines. Sandy Cornawan in the game for the first time for the Knights. Hey, remember, he was also a spark for the for the Knights in game two, but that's going to be, or they, they were not aware of the shot yes. clock and game clock. So first quarter ends. And it is the BTN ZLS Knights hanging on to a four-point lead. 25 to 21 against Mono Vampire. Second quarter, when we return. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. Dan dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Fit me, makan mie, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. 
stop. Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Start of the second in just a few moments. It is the BTN CLS Knights up 25 to 21. Noel Zarate alongside Marco Benitez. The last game of the semifinals, and the winner goes on to face the Singapore Slingers. Of course, whoever wins in this matchup, Marco, will have the home court disadvantage in the finals. Singapore Slingers was the number three seed in the regular season, so whichever team wins, Singapore will still have home court advantage in that first quarter. Noel, BT and CLS Knights actually winning the battle of the boards, 14 to seven advantage in terms of rebounding, also eight to one advantage in terms of second chance points. So that rebounding area where they were where they lost in the first couple of games right now they have turned to their favor now the question is can they sustain that maxi esho was able to draw the foul from romeo travis and it gets to the free throw line and it's been gang rebounding actually yeah. you know the taller team is it could be the btn cls nights but it has been the gang rebounding of mono vampire that has been one of the major factors why they won the rebounding uh, duel in the first two games that is correct and of course the three-point shooting which is the primary weapon of the knights five of seven from long distance remember in their game two loss they only had eight triples in total for the entire game right now they already have five they're on pace for 20 right now as two uh, free throws are dropped by Esho. how about freddie leach splitting the defense and getting the layup Nice penetrating dribble there from Freddie Leach, just beating the defense of two CLS defenders. And lead back down to four. So we are just underway here in the second. Arif Hidayat. Not this time. And that's going to be number two on Gerald Watkins. And you notice how Mike Singletary is defending the biggest player on, on the BTN CLS Knights because Daniel Watkins is playing from the outside. It's Romeo Travis defending against Maxi Esho. And if you guys are looking for Malcolm White, he's still on the bench after picking up two early fouls in the first quarter. 27-23 lead now for the Knights. Moving it around once again. Tyler Lamb hit a three earlier. Hits another one here. Nobody within five feet of Tyler Lamb as CLS shifted to a bit of a man zone with Daryl Watkins committing his second personal foul. Eight minutes and 48 remaining here in the second. 27-26. BTN CLS Knights lead is down to just one. Another miss by Esho. And it looks like Hidayat touched that one last. Maxi Esho sort of bailing the defense or bailing out the defense of Mono Vampire without even trying to penetrate allowing Romeo Travis to challenge that shot well. Well, he hasn't recalibrated the gun yet as Wang Wei Long checks back in for Arif Hidayat. So a chance to reclaim the lead after being down eight points just a few moments ago, Marco. And that's what you talk about, uh, championship experience or finals experience as Mono Vampire was able to maintain their composure and right now with a chance to get back that lead. Oh, what a crossover by Freddie Leach. Just missed the shot. Travis with another rebound and he did well to avoid the ricochet and he's seeing if the fans are okay looks like he's having a spat with one of the fans over there at the baseline and romeo travis has been at the forefront of this fight back of the mono vampire basketball club as you mentioned one of the most mild-mannered imports you've seen in the region yeah but when it's time to win it's time to win and freddie leash goes over to that fan gives him a piece of his mind as well as we now have our first look at Darongpan Apiron Vilay China. Palm did a great job yeah. on defense in game two. Frustrating Doug Herring. He's going to be assigned against Doug Herring. And he was frustrating Doug Herring all game long, or all second half long in particular in Thailand. So it'll be Tyler Lamb inbounding in front of all of those. I believe those are covers for the uh, pots. Making a lot of noise. Travis can't get it to go. And Esho clears for the Knights. Esho pushing this one up. Santi Kurniawan moves to another side and misses that one. Daryl Watkins unmolested for the rebound. Follow-up is not there. 
Bell for the rebound picked up by Lamb. Sorry, miss there in the part of Dal Watkins. Nobody there to challenge that putback. And Travis offline on that one. A little early in the shot clock, uh, shot clock rather, that jump shot from Romeo Travis. Nobody there to get that offensive rebound. Now you have to remember that Travis is still playing center for this team right now. And the absence of Malcolm White, who's still on the bench nursing those two fouls. 7.36 to play here. And the second away from play, Moses Morgan getting it tackled with Doug Herring. So right now the matchups are Moses Morgan on Doug Herring, Aperon Bilai Chai on Wong Wei Long. That's going to change pretty soon. So it's getting a little chippy between these two teams early, and rightfully so, of course, because this is an all or nothing game. That's right. And you know, of course, Doug Herring has been known as one of the more vocal players on this BTN CLS Night Squad. That's going to be a traveling violation on Maxi Escho slipping on a wet spot. And Maxi Escho did not want to relinquish the ball to an orange shirt, just rolls it out of bounds. I don't know if he's going to get a award for this one, but now, you know, here come the mop men once again. Very early. I'm not sure if it's raining yet outside, but we do have forecast of rain here today in Surabaya. That's just the humidity uh, as well as the packed crowd that we have contributing to the humidity inside the gym. Uh, that's going to be turnover number seven for the home squad. Now let's yeah, let's, on. yeah, let's paint a picture, Marco, for our fans uh, about where we are right now here at the Court Cutter Giant Gym. This is not an air-conditioned gym. There is air conditioning, but it's for the players on the floor. So the crowd here is relying on a lot of electric fans to keep themselves cool. But at the same time, the moisture is now spreading onto the floor. That's been one of the one of the reasons why this uh, this venue is uh, one of the toughest toughest sports to play in if you're if you're a visiting squad. Only three teams have won here in this building all season long: the Saigon Heat, San Miguel Ala Pilipinas, and the Singapore Slingers. As Romeo Travis lost the ball, so even the ball's getting slippery yeah. right now. Apart from the floor getting a getting a lot of moisture. From, from the players, from the sweat dripping from the players, also the ball coming from the perspiration. Uh, that's going to be one thing that they're going to have to face. It's going to be one challenge that they're going to be facing here in this game. Brian Rossum's going to call a timeout. Knight still clinging on to the lead, but it's only a one-pointer. 27-26. More action from Game 3 when we return. BTN CLS Knight starting to struggle on offense in this one. They've only scored two points so far. Mono Vampire snipping at their heels at this point, Marco. And, you know, both teams, the Wells, struggling on offense because the defense has picked up Mono Vampire with five points. CLS Knights only two points here so far in the second quarter. Long way long is going to bring it down. Coming up on seven minutes remaining here in the second. Tyler Lamb matched up against Wong Wei Long. Travis still on Maxi Esho and Singletary still defending against Daryl Watkins. And again, Maxi Esho loses possession. That's going to be another turnover. Turnover number eight for the Knights. And that was an unforced turnover at that. Moses Morgan lights it up from beyond the arc. And Mono is finally back on top by two. And that time when the defense was not yet set, Good forward pass there on the part of Tyler Lamb. Toronto can't get it to go. And battle for the rebound. Goes back to Mono. CLS Knights looking a little lost on offense there. That time one-on-one -on -one play coming from Brandon Jawato. Singletary, his pass telegraph. They get it back. Morgan finding Darumpan Apiron Vilaychai, and he's in trouble. Nowhere to go there for Apiron Vilaychai was looking to initially drop it off to Romeo Travis, but the defense was ready. Six and 28 to go here in the second. The Tyler Lamb inbounding from the baseline once again. Up in on Vilay Chai, can't get it off. Tyler Lamb can, and Tyler Lamb overshoots this time. That's a fourth shot there on the part of Tyler Lamb, well covered by Jawato. Harry. Setting the table once again. No movement on offense for the BTN CLS Knights, except that Wong Wei Long was wide open. Another miss, and you get the sense, Marco, that the Knights are trying too much from the outside. 
They're settling for outside shots as Apiro Vilaychai so far has been the rover that time helping out on the inside and then rushing out to challenge that long distance shot from Wong Wei Long. Bench players starting to come in now for the BTN CLS Knights. Coach yeah. Brian Rosam looking for a spark off the bench. That's an early entry, I believe, from Utomo. Here's Moses Morgan. Morgan puts it on the floor. Morgan on the drive. Morgan gets it to go, plus the foul. That's a smart move there on the part of Moses Morgan, attacking the guy who is cold off the bench. That's a Febri Utomo who had just entered the ball game. So Morgan will troop to the line for an extra free throw. Chance to up the lead to five points. So far, Mono Vampire has outscored the CLS Knights eight to two here in the second quarter. And he does complete it. And Moses Morgan picking up Doug Herring on their defensive end. That's going to be another slip there yeah. on the part of Jawato. Jumper by Esho, too strong, and all of a sudden the Knights are running out of options on offense, at least this early. Mono's got their biggest lead of the game at five. Singletary can't add to it. Oh, Travis looks like he tweaked that left ankle. And there's a bit of a, a bump here between Darumparapiram Vilaychai and Herring, they're going to call a double foul on this play, Marco. Five minutes and 25 seconds remaining. And That's that going to be the first on, uh, on Herring, though. And you know that Aperon Vilaychai will not mind that personal foul because that's his job to really get under the skin of Doug Herring. Uh, he still has four more fouls to give up in that case. So three team fouls apiece. Pressure being shown in the back by Mono. Here's Fabio Tumo seeing his first action of the game. And you know, uncharacteristic of the BTNCS Knights, they're looking a little bit lost here, Noel, on the offensive end. That's a nice block on the part of Romeo Travis. But that's going to be number two on Darumpana Peron Chai. And more importantly, that's team foul number four for Mono Vampire. We're not even at the halfway mark of the second quarter yet. You have to give a lot of credit to the defense of Romeo Travis. He has really put the clamps on Maxi Esho. Esho, after four points in the first quarter, has yet to score here in the second. Oh, they force another one right here. Tyler Lamb now showing his fangs on defense. And again, mostly one-on-one -on -one plays coming from the BTN CLS Knights. Jawato trying to take Lamb off the dribble. Remember, this guy was one of the top steals getters here in the ABL a couple of seasons ago. That is right. Travis trying it with the right hand this time. Good defense at the rim by the Knights. And here comes Maxi Esho. Esho going to the corner. Otomo gets it out the long way long. Still can't shoot. Esho, his first three of the game is a bank shot. Big shot there on the part of Maxi Esho. More so for the timing as that is only their fifth point here in the second quarter. Singletary can't answer. Travis with the rebound, immediate post up against Esho, but Travis forced it to a bad shot. And Travis is a little bit gassed out here as he has not seen any, any rest in the first half and he has really pounded the ball inside the paint. And Malcolm White is not being used at all here in the second quarter. Wong Way Long on the drive. Wong Way Long, not this time. And a jump ball is called possession arrow is going to go to mono and you know the knights are really just trying to force the ball inside a lot of one-on-one -on -one plays which mono vampire has been able to defend well well mono vampire still up with a small lineup 32 to 30. Under four Watkins ago, is, yeah. not, is not going to play significant minutes or he's not going to try to attack the post mono can definitely afford to play with this smaller lineup Oh, Darumpana Peron Vilaychai at the right place at the right time. Can't get it to go. Moses Morgan can't get the follow-up. And now a chance to tie or take the lead for the BTN CLS Knights. But again, 
active hands for the Rampala Piram Vilay Chai breaking that one up. Uh, you have to give a lot of credit to Piram Vilay Chai not giving up on the play despite back-to-back -back misses from Mono Vampire on their offensive end. And 32 to 30, still for Mono. The visitors controlling this second quarter. Herring. Now picked up by Singletary. Herring on the drive, and we have a tie game. Mono trying to go counter fast break. Three pointer in and out for Tyler Lamb. And another opportunity for the Knights to reclaim the lead. Esho on the pull up. And Lamb couldn't control it. Oh, long way long. And that could be a turning point here in the first half. Instead of being able to save the basketball, he saves it to Wong Wei Long. Five point swing for the BTN CLS Knights. And a three point lead for the home team. 35 to 32. Timeout, Mono Vampire. Two minutes and the change remaining here in the second quarter. Two minutes and 48 to be exact. Knights 35, Mono Vampire 32. Freddie Leach lost the ball, and this is coming off a timeout, but they will say it's a foul on the Knights. There's a tendency of Freddie Leach to sometimes play out of control. That time they were lucky that he was not called for an offensive foul. It's been a an 8 to 2 or 8 to 3 run in favor of the BTN CLS Knights, and they have recaptured or regained the lead to go up by three. But regaining the lead right now, or regaining possession actually now, is Mono Vampire. Inbounding right now, Freddie Leash. Tyler Lamb turns the corner. Lamb on the stretch, gets it to go, plus the foul. And there you see the veteran smarts of Tyler Lamb. He saw that it was Fabio Otomo defending him off that ball screen, turned the corner, attacking the basket hard, drawing the foul, and getting the basket. So a chance to tie for Mono Vampires. We see this again, Marco. And without Daryl Watkins on the floor, no shot blocker on the part of the BTN CLS Knights. Watkins averages about one and a half blocks per ball game. Lamb ties it up at 35. So no as expected, this game, nobody's really giving an inch here, Marco. That's right. And you know, after being down in the battle of points in the paint, Mono Vampire right now doubling up 16 to 8 in terms of points in the paint. And think about it. There's no Malcolm White on the floor, and they're still getting that done. Deep three herring, in and out. Follow-up is good. And, and that there. was just great positioning by Brandon Jawato. Nobody there to box out Brandon Jawato. Can't afford those mistakes. Lamb. Spe yep, especially here in the BTN CLS Knights home court. Lamb say, well, they say Lamb touched it last. 2.03 to go here in the second. So Knights 37, Mono Vampire 35. Pressure once again shown in the backcourt. This is a point in the first half where CLS Knights have to execute their offense. Fabri Otomo. Fabri almost traveled that time. Gets it out now to Jawato. And that one is lost by Jawato. It goes back to Mono. Again, another pick off from Tyler Lamb. That's possibly his second steal. Check that. Make that his third steal of the game. Right. Travis is huffing and puffing already at this point. I wonder, Marco, and maybe we could give us an educated guess why Malcolm White's not yet on the floor. Well, I think Coach Tong sees that uh, they're not at a disadvantage without Malcolm White. Sees that his team is so far hanging in there. Does not want him to pick up his third personal foul. That's my educated guess. That sounds good. But the problem is, Mono is still down by two. They're now down by four. Leash. Oh, nice seal by Romeo Travis. Series of fakes, lost possession. And they get it back. Leash, straightaway three. It's a miss. 
saved by Morgan. And it goes over to Tyler Lamb. Lamb giving continuation. And again, another good decision there on the part of Tyler Lamb. Sizing up his man, putting the ball on the floor. No shot blocker for BTN. CLS Knights, another basket and another foul picked up by Tyler Lamb. See that one again, I'm telling you, the guys with championship experience starting to shine for Mono Vampire. Romeo Travis in the first quarter, and now Tyler Lamb picking up the slack in the second. And they were lucky that Moses Morgan was able to save the ball because Freddie Leash had an ill-advised shot, just waited for the defense, and then launched a triple from top of the key. You have less than a minute to go here in the second. Knights lead down to one, 39-38. And some subs coming in as well. So again, pressure in the backcourt for the ties. And uh, now bringing it down is Herring. Herring working against Moses Morgan. Lost the ball. And to the front court. Tyler Lamb can't finish. Rebound picked up by Singletary. Blocked from behind. But they're going to call a foul on the Knights. Another turnover by the BTN CLS Knights leading to a fast break opportunity for Mono Vampire and Singletary not giving up on the play. Gets another offensive rebound, goes up strong, picks up a foul. And free throws again. For as you mentioned, 80% free throw shooter during the regular season for Mike Singletary. Knocks down the first here. That was turnover number 11 for the Knights. Mono Vampire has done an excellent job taking care of the basketball. Only two turnovers in the game so far. Singletary good on two once again. Mono has reclaimed the lead. 35 seconds to go here in the second. A long way long. Eluding the defense but can't get it to go. Freddie Leash full head of steam. And Morgan has it stripped. And it's stolen by Doug Herring. Talk about presence of mind by Doug Herring. Chance for them to take the last last shot of the first half. Herring has played without rest as well here in the first half. Ten seconds to go. Herring pouring it on him. Herring to the side and the three-pointer is short coming from Arifideyat and oh grazing the ring that time was Tyler Lamb but Mono Vampire leading by one at halftime in a place they have never won before 40 to 39 and we will be back for more action from game three of the semis in the ASEAN Basketball League well thank you guys and all we have Augie Fantinus celebrity actor and have YouTube channel one-on-one -on -one. how are you what up what up what up What's up? <laughs> this is your first time, okay? Yeah, it's the second kali. session of HLS. This is, this is your first yeah, time. Yeah, this is the first time uh, for this season. Yeah. yeah. Can you describe the atmosphere of Gore Kertajaya? Uh, I, I'm so amazed with the uh, atmosphere of yeah. the uh, crowd and uh, yeah. night society. And yeah. Wow. Ini, ini sih luar biasa banget kalau yes. buat gua. Mm -hmm cukup mengagetkan karena yeah. uh, gua sampai sekarang aja udah serak nih wow gua udah ha, gak bisa ngomong just for half time iya yeah, yeah. baru half time aja yeah. udah serak do you have any message to BTN Chalice in Indonesia and the people of Surabaya in Indonesia uh, I know I'm sure that Chalice gonna go to uh, final, final. Yeah. we'll go to the final uh, and gonna beat Singapore yeah yes and we hope we hope yeah. win tonight ya yeah? pasti iya yeah. don't forget to subscribe his channel, okay, Algi Fantinus, thank comedian, you. actor, and have YouTube channel. Thank, thank you. you, bro. Thank you. Back to all, thank you. This is where it all begins. We're partners, you and I. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. The partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. 
So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Fit me, makan mie, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Kami jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi. Tanpa drama. This is where it all begins. We're partners, you and I. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. A partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner. In BTN. So we are moments away from the start of this third period. 40 for Mono, 39 for the CLS Knights, and one team will walk away with a victory. A date with the uh, Singapore Slingers. Singapore Slingers in their third final in the last four years. But who is going to make it? We will find out right now as the second half gets underway. Once again, Noel's out of there alongside Marco Benitez. Coming to you live from the Gorkar Jaya Gymnasium here in Surabaya, Indonesia. First possession go up, belongs to the Knights. Malcolm White back in and immediately attacked that time by Daryl Watkins. And exactly what we talked about, first possession of the third quarter. They go down into Daryl Watkins attacking that's Malcolm a great White backdoor play, yep. though, for, for Tyler Lamb, Marco. Great backdoor off a off that horn set for the Mono Vampire. So, seesaw game to begin the third here for both teams. Here's Esho on the drive. Esho challenged well, almost got it to go, and Malcolm White's presence is now being felt. Yeah, another excellent defensive stop there on the part of Romeo Travis. 
as he picked up Maxi Esho. Only seven points so far for Maxi Esho in this game. Remember, he's the leading scorer of the Knights. But he's able to force a turnover that time. So 42 to 41, a minute gone by in the third. So now it's a single tarry picking up Doug Herring. This is what they did in the second half of game two. Watkins wanting to post up, gets it over to Jawato for three. Second triple of the game. So far perfect from long distance is Brandon Jawato. And the Knights have a two point lead, 44 to 42. Freddie Leash, the former CLS Knight, almost taking it away once again are the Knights. Malcolm White on the drive, bothered there by Watkins. He's looking for a foul. Nice defense by the Knights. And here comes Herring into the front court, almost throws it away. Leash tracks it down. They get it over to White. And here's Romeo Travis with a bobble. They will reset. No Tyler Lambs does. Let's fire it up. And White with the offensive glass. Travis. Looking for a friend. Doing the post up. Throws it away again. And a foul given up. Boy, it's getting a little sloppy here in the third. That's a duty foul there on the part of Freddie Leash. And again, one of the few turnovers, one of the few mistakes that Romeo Travis has committed in this game. You have to remember only three turnovers in the first yeah. half for Mono Vampire. They've picked up two early here in the third. And more importantly, they have lost the lead. There you see how explosive this Knights squad is if they can play as a team. And remember, in that latter portion of the second quarter, they started to rely on those one-on-one -on -one plays, started to settle for jump shots as well. 44-42, BTN CLS Knights, under eight minutes to go in the third. Watkins puts it on the floor once again, trying to bait that third foul from Malcolm White. Malcolm White stays clean, but Watkins gets it to go. And again, back-to-back post-up plays, back-to-back -back baskets. Coming from Daryl Watkins, another turnover here. Wow. Jawato off to the races. Oh, can't get it to go, though. That was actually Doug Herring who missed. Lamb across, Singletary on the fake. Gets it out again to Tyler Lamb. They will be patient this time. Uh oh, Freddie Leash left open for three, and he will miss once again. Multiple opportunities to find the ball inside or feed the ball inside, and you end up with Freddie Leash taking that outside shot. Not a good possession there for the Mono Vampire. Here's Esho. He's looking for the foul, none was called. He might have a case. Referees allowing the players to slug it out here in game three. Lamb left open, Lamb for three, good! And that's what you talk about. That's what you mean when you say championship or playoff experience. Tyler Lamb knowing when to explode. 17 points already for Tyler Lamb. And how many three-pointers has this young man achieved in this game? That's the four, third triple for oh, the former Hong Kong Eastern star player. Another turnover against the Knights. Singletary, a long three is off. And Wang Wei Long wants to slow things down. This pace is starting to get frenetic here in the third. Long, a Wang Wei Long is going to be bumped by Freddie Leash. That's good. That foul is going to go against Freddie Leash, trying to fight over that screen of Daryl Watkins. So far, what Mono has not been able to do is try to feed the ball inside to Malcolm White. Malcolm White has zero attempts here. Remember, he had third. 18 points in game two, 10 points in game one. So far, just four points in this game. Now we're going to have a new player come in now for the BTN CLF. That's uh, for Mono Oosh, Vampire. Number 79. Going to come in, play defense against Wong Wei Long. But he's also a pretty good shooter. Jawato tries to get creative that time. Travis with the rebound, and here comes Lamb. Lamb on the sidestep. Lamb blocked from behind. And ball goes back to the Indonesians. Credit Maxi Esho for not giving up on the play. Chasing that, chasing down that block. It's 46 to 45. CLS up by one. No foul called that time. One way long. That play actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise as no foul was called. Travis in trouble. 
And they turn it over again. Four turnovers after only three in the first half. For Mono, herring off the glass. And that's what you do not want to happen if you're Mono Vampire. Sloppy play on one end turns into a four point swing. And that crowd chanting defense here at the Gorka of the Giant Gymnasium. Two and us left open for three. Knocks it down. What a big three pointer off the bench for Toaroj. And he is in there for his shooting touch as well. Cuts the lead in half. 51 for the Indonesians. 48 for the Thais. Asho. Asho can't step back and he lost the ball again. And you know, as long as Romeo Travis stays on the ground, he's able to play great defense against Maxi Asho. Single Terry down to White. This is his first attempt in the second half. First attempt since the first quarter, and he comes up short. Yep, looking a little cold off the bench is Malcolm White. Remember, he's only played about six minutes in this game. Aaron gets it across in time as we come up on four minutes to go. And the third. Knights up by three. Isolation now. Herring on against Travis. Herring gets a screen and knocks it down. That's a defensive miscommunication there. Nobody showing on that ball screen. Tuaraj will set it up now for Mono. Tuaraj using the Malcolm White screen. Tuaraj lost the ball. And you got to stay in control if you're Tuaraj. 53-48. BTN CLS Knights up by five. Herring gets away and scores. I remember that explosive third quarter in game one. So far, they have outscored Mono Vampire 14 to eight here in the third. Timeout called by Mono. The lead is seven for the BTN CLS Knights, 55 to 48. It is a football atmosphere inside the Gorkert, the Jaya Gymnasium. Let's take a look at some plays that went by so far here. The third long way long, lighting it up from beyond the arc. Blows a kiss to the crowd. And Doug Herring starting to take over as the defense comes late for Mono Vampire. Doug Herring already with 20 points on 8 of 11 from the field. Six rebounds, a steal, an assist. Although he has committed five turnovers in this game. But he has led his team to grab a bit of a breathing room here in the third quarter with a seven-point lead. This guy reminds me a lot of Rod Strickland, to be honest yeah, with you. That's right. Quick first step. And if he scores 50, we can call him Eric Sleepy Floyd. Could be on pace for that with 20 points. But more importantly, they're up by seven. Noel's out of there alongside Marco Benitez. Live from Surabaya, Indonesia. Malcolm White, they sag on him. Moses Morgan back in now for the Mono Vampire Squad. Travis on the post up. This was effective in the first quarter. Travis on the fall away, bothered by the defense. And they come up empty once again. And again, underrated post defender is Doug Herring. That time just staying in front, forcing Romeo Travis to a fadeaway. Nearing three minutes to go here in the third. Knights wanting to add to this lead. Their largest lead was at eight points. Herring gives them their biggest lead of the game. Credit half that basket to that solid pick set by Darrell Watkins at the top of the key. 57-48. Under three minutes to play in the third. White. Travis wanting a clear out, but passes it up to Singletary. Singletary against three. Purple shirts, Travis trying to sky high for the rebound, and a jump ball is called. And I believe ball is going to go to the BTN CLS Knights. And so far, Mono Vampire has looked a little lost on offense. And Romeo Travis 
Well, they say it will be Mono Vampire oh, basketball. Mono Vampire, so that's a lucky break for them. Malcolm White goes back to the bench, ineffective today. After sitting out practically the entire, or actually sitting out the entire second quarter. So far he is two out of seven from the field. Inbounds play goes to Lamb. Lamb deep three. And Travis collects another one. Get it out to Morgan who lost the ball. Esho into the front court. Esho almost has to earn it from the free throw line, but you got to give the aggression this time to the home team. I remember Mono Vampire had only committed three turnovers the entire first half. Yes. They already have five here in the third quarter. Take a look at that once again. Tyler Lamb trying to stop a rampaging Maxi Esho. Now, if Maxi Esho can kick it into gear here in the third, that's almost guaranteeing yep. a win already for the BTN CLS Knights. And they have even up the points off turnovers category 12 to 12. Maxi Esho to, has a chance to add to that. But he does not on that trip. You know, right beside us to our left here at the commentary booth, the uh, Mono Vampire Squad actually have a big contingent led by a bunch of drummers. And they're making a lot of noise here as well. One of the reasons why we can hardly hear each other here in Gorkurta Jaya. Knights now up by 10, 58, 48. And they have tied the biggest lead of the, of the game so far. Lamb again quells it the same way he did in the first quarter. Fourth triple of the game for Tyler Lamb. Brings him up to 20 points. The only player in double figures for Mono Vampire. That's a surprise the way Travis played in the first quarter. Good seal by Watkins, but dribbles on his foot. Esho recovers. Esho ate the shoot. Gets it back to Watkins. And a foul acknowledged by Mike Singletary. And you have to give a lot of credit to the BTN CLS Knights. They continue to pound the ball. Try to pound the ball inside to Darrell Watkins. That time, picking up the first personal foul on Singletary. We see this one again. That's a bit of an unselfish play there coming from Maxi Esho. He had the shot, but wanted to reward Watkins for being in position. Talk about having good defense, playing good defense, without fouling. BTN CLS Knights have zero team fouls here in the third. Mono Vampire is at the limit already. That one, though, only the first free throw attempt for Dado Watkins. He's two for two in the game. 60-51, under two minutes to play in the third. Freddie Leash, quiet today. Leash gets it over to Travis. Back to Leash, almost lost it. Gets it back, eight to shoot. Lamb puts it on the floor. Lamb inside to Travis, and Travis gets away. Turning garbage into goal there is Tyler Lamb. Almost nothing happening on that play. Esho almost had a clear path to the hoop, and Romeo Travis realized there was nobody behind him on defense. Gives up the foul. However, that's going to put Mono over the limit. That's going to be the second personal foul on Romeo Travis. He has done a good job managing his fouls despite playing the entire game so far. Leash has two. White has two. Apirabilai Chai has two. And now Romeo Travis with two personals. And Romeo Travis is playing center for Mono Vampire right now. And Maxi Esho is having an issue at the free throw line. Not used to seeing him miss this much. So far, Maxi Esho, three out of five from the charity stripe. Four out of six. Restores an eight point lead, 61 to 53. 108 to play once again here in the third. Leash now guarded by Wong Wei Long. Gets a good screen. His pass batted away. Another turnover. That one was well read by, by the BTN CLS Knights. Cordiawan back in. Wong Wei Long drops it over to Nugroho, who's also back in. Herring. Wong Wei Long. Yes! You could see that play unfolding the moment Mono. Got into a miscommunication on defense. That's the last guy you want to leave open. 
11 point lead now for the BTN CLS Knights and they almost force another turnover and Brian Rousem saying nobody touched it and both teams complaining to the referee CLS asking for the ball to go their side Romeo Travis asking for a foul and this is playoff basketball look at those pot covers behind Freddie Leash 30 seconds here in the third Lamb inside of Travis Travis fakes and scores Travis just muscling his way there against Firman Nugrojo you have to remember, of course, Romeo Travis is one of the closest friends of one of the greatest basketball players alive, LeBron James. Finally entering double digits with 11 points. Sandy Kornjawan has it poked away. And with three seconds to go, Knights can have the last say. There's about a, less than a second left on their shot clock as the shot clock reads... Zero, zero. Yeah, they, actually, they do have three seconds remaining. Let's see if they can get this one off. Kornjawan on the inbound. Kornjawan gets it all the way out to Esho, and Esho is blocked by Travis to end the third. So, if anything, that was a pretty good way to end the third on a defensive note for Mono Vampire, but the bad news is for Mono, they're down by nine heading into the final 10 minutes, 64 to 55. Fourth quarter happens when we return. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. Dan dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Fit me, makan mie, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. We are seconds away from the start of quarter number four and the final period in the season of one of these two teams, Mono Vampire. Down nine against the BTN CLS Knights, 64 to 55. Noel Zarate alongside Marco Benitez, and Mono has to dig, has to dig deep here in this final period if they want a return to the finals. And you know, Noel, the team that has won the third quarter so far in this series has gone on to win the ball game. In game one, it was the BTN CLS Knights outscoring Mono Vampire 23 to eight. In game oh! two, yes. Long way long connects on an impossible three point shot. Again in this building, Marcos, you were making that point. The BTN CLS Knights set an ABL record for all time most made three pointers in a game with 22. And the guy at the free throw line is the all time leading three point field goal maker in the league. Long way long, four-point play opportunity coming up. Uh, that's going to be a foul on Freddie Leash. And as I was saying, in game two, it was a 29-19 to third quarter for Mono. This game, it was a 25-15 to third quarter in favor of the Knights. Three-pointer good this time. 
for Santong was seeing his first action of the game. Remember, he was also suspended yeah. for game number two in that incident involving Brandon Joato. And he's going to be matched up against Firmano Grojo inside the paint. Both teams resting some of their starters at this point. Esho remains on the floor, however. Esho gets it out. Wong driving, and he is blocked that time by Sang Tong. We're going to have five seconds left on the shot clock. 67-58. The lead is nine for the BTN CLS Knights. Wong Wei Long has already connected on five three-point three attempts. Herring beats the buzzer for three. Three-pointer number 12 for the Knights. That is their highest three-point output in this series. And they're up by 12, make that down to 10 after Travis gets away again. That's a good answer there on the part of Mono Vampire. But again, perimeter defense we talked about at the start of the ball game is going to be key. Harry obviously tuckered out at this point, but they need to win this one. Chawato offline and out. Seems like every time the Knights are launch a triple, has a good chance of going in. Singletary met by the defense and lost the ball again. Turnover number 11 for the Mono Vampire. And nine of them, or maybe that eight of them coming here in the second half as Wong Wei Long steps out of bounds. And goes Brian Rosam is livid. Asking for a foul for a block against Singletary. And the Rumpala Perong Vilay Chai is saying, what's he talking about? One of the few times that you see Coach Brian Rosam that livid. Travis gets it out to Lamb. Lamb attacks. Lamb lost the ball. And a foul on Mono. That's going to go against Romeo Travis. That's going to be his third personal foul. And still Malcolm White riding the bench for Mono Vampire. As they continue to go with this small lineup. But they are now down by 10. So Mo Malcolm White finally checking into the game with 7.56 remaining here in the fourth. They're going to need his defense. They're going to need his output inside. They're going to need a few more dunks from him. Remember, he started yeah. this game with a dunk. He had about four of them in game two. Esho, 12 to shoot. Isolated on Travis. Esho, 8 to shoot. Esho can't step into a jumper. Jawato, 4 on the shot clock. Herring comes up short. Rebound up in on Chai. And he's going to lead the break. Apiron Chai gets it back inside. Reverse layup doesn't go. Malcolm White is there to get the offensive rebound. And almost lost it. The player's really having a hard, a hard time keeping their, their hands on the ball. Singletary, no. Harry, rebound. Off to the races once again. Jawato fakes. Jawato can't shoot. And Herring does the wise thing. Yep, why is he setting it back out? This, they have no need to rush with a 10-point lead. Bounce pass inside. Watkins, Wong Way Long, seven on the shot clock. Wong, fall away. Jawato, air ball. A little bit of Helter Skelter basketball there for the BTN CLS Knights. Three pointer, Singletary. What a big triple there on the part of Singletary just to settle down his wards. Quick timeout called by Brian Rousem as Mono Vampire is within seven at 70 to 63. We'll be right back. Crowd continues to be animated. And look at this sellout here at the Gorka at the Giant Gymnasium. We got people at the steps already. That is called sitting room only. <laughs> they sense a big victory here with 6 and 42 remaining. Their home squad up by seven points. And I'm pretty sure Coach Neil Bagshak and Coach Michael Johnson are watching over there at Singapore. Taking down notes on who their finals opponent might be. The finals begin on May 3 at the OCBC Arena in Singapore. One of these teams will be going for an ABL title. And Singapore, going back to the Slingers, 
three out of the four finals they were in, but they yeah. never won. That's just a credit to the program, to the coaching. Coach Neil Bengsha, of course, with Michael Johnson. Xavier Alexander has been one of their stalwarts. Oh, and Delvin Gore has had a monster yeah. season for the Slingers. But for these two teams, who's it going to be? Herring, momentarily open. Can't knock it down. And White with the board. No need to rush here if you're Mona Vampire. Still loads of time. Six minutes is an eternity of basketball. And you're only down by seven points. There's Singletary. Working the pick and roll with Malcolm White, who missed the layup, but is fouled on the way up. And you know, Noel, especially with this type of humidity, this type of moisture, you want most of your shots close to the basket, as close to the basket as possible for a higher percentage. Sandy Cornyawan tagged with a foul that time. So the, these free throws could get Malcolm White back in his rhythm. Remember, if you're just joining us, White picked up two fouls early in the first, sat out the entire second quarter, sat out a majority of the third, and his rhythm is completely off at this point. First trip to the free throw line for Malcolm White. He's a 56% free throw shooter. Second one is good. Cuts two it, possession yep, lead, Marco. Cuts it down to a two possession game. Six minutes to go in the semifinals. Herring, Esho, Esho. Oh, foul taking a three, a late whistle. That's gonna be, that's a big call. Gonna be the third personal foul, I believe, or make that fourth personal foul on Romeo Travis. So let's see that challenge once again. It was a late whistle, but a correct call. And Maxi Esho making sure that the referee saw that. Now Esho's four of six from the free throw line today. And the mono drummers distracting him a bit on that one. Maxi Esho so far with nine points, two of eight from the field. So they say it was just a two-point field goal for Maxi Esho. His foot was on the line. Ups the lead to seven. 71-64. Singletary catching fire in the fourth. What a big three-point sh three shot from Michael Singletary. Goes up to 13. It's third triple of the game. Um, BTNCL is nice just slowing the pace of this game down. Mono is not going away without a fight. Herring, almost taken away, it is taken away by Travis. And then the front court, Singletary, Romeo Travis, can't finish. But that's gonna be a foul on Daryl Watkins. And how about the presence of mind there on the part of Romeo Travis, playing the passing lanes perfectly. That's what he brings to the table, not really his offense, although he's pretty close to 20 points in this one. But it's his defensive intensity, his leadership on the floor, his leadership by example, actually. As you mentioned, 50 points, 12 rebounds, four assists, and a couple of blocks for Romeo Travis. That would be his first steal of the game as well. So Travis, as we mentioned, oh, comes up short on this one. One of the best friends of LeBron James, played in the Philippine Basketball Association, won a championship there last year all important free throws here for mono vampire single possession lead with five and ten remaining mono has never won in this building this season they're 0 for three cls has only lost three times in this building joe gets it out one way long oh manufactured a foul up in Ovilai Chai and there's blood coming out of the face of Wong Wei Long. Looks like it's gonna go against Malcolm White. Oh wow Wong Wei Long looks like he was in a Muay Thai fight. Looks like he got hit. That's above the, the eyebrow. Above the eyebrow. 
Oh, I don't know the intensity of the foul given up there, but somebody could take the free throws in his stand. And this crowd seeing blood from one of their heroes getting all riled up now. Oh, it's on White. That's a hard foul there on the part of Malcolm White. It's his third, and they'll call it an unsportsmanlike foul on Malcolm White upon further review. And I believe that's a good call on the part of the referees. I agree. Excessive contact. Remember, that kind of a foul got Brandon Jawano ejected in game one against Sang Tong. But they're just going to say unsportsmanlike on this one. See it again here, Marco. Yeah, that elbow just came down. Oh, that's a that's the best angle yeah. we've seen from it. And just to give you an idea of the contact, sometimes it takes some time for the blood to come out. Yeah. But that time, the moment Wong Wei Long got up, immediately there was blood flowing from that wound. That will be foul number three, however, uh, excuse me, Marco, on uh, on Malcolm White. It looks like it's going to be Sandy Kurniawan that's going to take the free throws. But they're going to have to dress that wound pretty quickly if they want one way long back in this game. Oh, yeah. Talk about excessive contact. I'm not saying that Malcolm White had malicious intentions when he did that. But the result, I mean, 6-9 going up against 5-9. And all that blood coming out of the former Singapore slinger. You see our commissioner there signaling to our crew chief what needs to happen next. So White has not been ejected from the game. In fact, he's still on the yeah. floor. And it is Sandy Corniawan who started game two in the absence of Brandon Jawato taking his first free throws of the game. Calmly hitting that first free throw. They're also going to get ball possession. With 4 and 51 remaining in the fourth. Now a two possession lead for the BTN CLS Knights. Three possession lead or two possession lead still. Those are actually his first points of the game. And then there's going to be two free throws because it was in the act of shooting. Wow. So two more gift shots for Sandy Kurniawan. And Travis is still trying to understand what the ruling is. Well, remember, we're using FIBA rules here. Three possession lead. Wow, Sandy Kurniawan calmly hitting four straight free throws. And ball possession stays with the Knights. 14 to shoot. And now you got Napiron Vilaychai matched up against Doug Herring. Doug Harry's not even asking for the ball. It's gonna be Esho setting this one up. Esho on the spin. Esho with the left hand, no. Gets it back, tries again, turned back by White. Third time around, still nothing. Rebound to Watkins, the fourth attempt drops. A six point offense for the Knights, and they're up by nine. And that is big, that could, that could be the turning point of this game. Travis. White almost lost it, and Travis touched it last. And Maxi Esho has not scored a lot of baskets in this game, but coming up with big defensive plays. If you're Coach Tong and Mono, you know you're still in it. But you got to forget about that six-point offense earlier. And concentrate on what needs to be done on defense. Watkins. Under four to play, and that is tapped out by Apiron Vilaychai. Ten to shoot now for the Knights. What a big turnaround, Noel, from being up by just three points 
Knights are now up by nine. Our referee having a word with up and over like Chai and Herring. 3.57 to go in game three of the semis. The winner moves on to the final. Herring, three to shoot. They get it out to Wato in time. No. Rebound to White. That would have been really big. Would have brought the house down had he made that. And Lamb is fouled as he made his move. That's going to be team foul number three so on that, the Knights. That's a good foul on the part of Doug Herring. Talk about the presence of mind there on the part of Herring. He saw that Kurniawan was beat off the dribble. Commits the foul. And I believe that's just going to be a sideline inbound for Mono. 77-68 CLS Knights suddenly in control here in the fourth. Tyler Lamb sort of slowed down here in the fourth. There's Coach Tong. Singletary. White back inside Singletary. Missed an easy one. And the rebound picked up by Watkins. And now the offense is not cooperating with Mono. Oh, sorry, missed there on the part. Of Singletary. Sandy for three. Travis outlet to Lamb. Lamb pulls up for three. Way off. They didn't need that at that juncture. Yep, that's right. Probably did not need an early triple. Herring almost another turnover. Jawato escapes Lamb for the moment. Jawato, Kurniawan. They have time. Eight to shoot. Under three minutes to go in the, in the fourth. Herring. Herring moves in. Herring off the glass. No. And the follow-up is good for Watkins. How about Daryl Watkins? Four straight points here in the fourth quarter. 79-68. 2.42 to go in the fourth. Timeout called by Mono. Just turned the game around from being up by three points. Suddenly, they're up by nine. And they are one. 11, actually, right now. Up by nine after that sequence. Yeah, right. And then 11. And it's just one point off their biggest lead of the game, which is 12 points. Lamb starting to miss. Esho for the rebound. Foul called on Chichayananti, who's in the game for the first time. Mono is over the limit. And Esho goes back to the line. And Romeo Travis just missed time that rebound attempt. Would have been a clear offensive rebound for him. But again, the breaks of the game going the way of the home squad. 2.35 to go. Esho finds his stroke. As you mentioned, the last time a team from Indonesia has made it to the finals was back in 2011 or 2012. And that was, of course, the Indonesia Warriors. When they lost to the San Miguel Beerman, they lost their title to the San Miguel Beerman because they had won it in 2011. Three-pointer doesn't work. Ananti gets it inside. Still can't score, but cleans up his own miss. 2.20 to go. 11-point lead. Pressure now applied, yeah. yeah. Mathematically, still time here if you're a mono vampire, but of course, the Knights so good at milking the clock. Final two minutes. Oh, Esho lost his footing, and here comes Chichayananti. Travis, Lamb transition three is good. They're still fighting. Another triple here from Tyler Lamb. That's going to be his fifth triple of the game. Door is still yeah, go ahead, Marco. slightly ajar if you're Mono Vampire. 81-73 timeout called by Brian Rouse of 151 remaining here in the fourth. They are on their feet here at the Gorka of the Jaya Gymnasium. A minute and 51. Remaining in the fourth, 81 CLS Knights 
73 Mono Vampire. Big three pointer in transition by Tyler Lamb to keep the hopes alive for the tie squad. And you know, Noel, if you're Mono Vampire, you have to play this possession by possession. A stop here and a basket, and it's down to a two possession game. What you do not want to give up is an offensive rebound and a putback as the BTN CLS Knights have already scored 20 second chance points in this game. Harry, pressure shown by Morgan, but Harry gets it across. There's also no need to foul right away here if you're Mono. Big provided now, there's a switch. Herring now, taken by Travis. Herring, attacking, Herring, hang time! How big has Doug Herring been? 27 big points. Lamb is fouled. Free throws coming up, team foul number four for CLS. And Tyler Lamb has really stepped up here for Mono Vampire. 23 points, chance to go up to 25, but more importantly, stop the clock and get points on the board. Of, a lot of people were saying, Marco, that if Tyler Lamb started the season with Mono, he would be an MVP candidate. Oh, yes, definitely. Former Heritage MVP. Good on his first. So far, three out of three from the stripe is Tyler Lamb. 24 big points. Crowd making noise. Tyler Lamb zones them out. And you know, if, if Daryl Watkins gets the ball, I probably would think of fouling, as he is probably the best player to foul. Only about a 50% free throw shooter. Oh, they're trying to foul Sandy. Jawato and a foul given up by Chichayananti. So they will test Brandon Jawato at the free throw line. One of the leading candidates from local MVP this season. So check that. Watkins is 67% from the stripe. Jawato is 74%. And Jawato silencing the crowd, except for those Thai drummers. But he knocks down the first. Lead is nine. A minute and 14 remaining. 11 points in the game for Brandon Joato. Missing on the second. Now Singletary's in a hurry. Singletary steps back. Can't get it to go. And they say mono basketball. 13 seconds on the shot clock. We can even go for a quick two here if you're Mono. And then play the foul game. Lamb gets it out to Singletary. And Singletary slips. Foul given up by Chicha Ananti to send Doug Herring to the line. And with a minute to go, Singletary is shaken up. But that could be it. So tough. Those are the breaks of the game. Singletary is slow to get up now. And we've seen a lot of this in this building. Yeah. Also part of what makes playing here in Gorkurta Jaya so difficult. Happens to the best of them. Right. We saw Maxi Escher a couple of possessions ago lost his footing resulting in a turnover this time happens to mike singletary such a crucial time in the game for mono vampire and we're not riding out mono yet but you know we got to give them credit to where they are now number eight seed barely making the playoffs holding off the west sports malaysia dragons towards the final couple of weeks of the regular season and sweeping the number one formosa dreamers and the quarterfinals. Uh, you saw there on the bench, Wong Wei Long, heavily taped forehead. Yeah. And Wait it up. looks like there might be some blood as well on uh, Doug Herring. Well, you know, Wong Wei Long prob probably will not come back into this game, but yeah. what a sacrifice he has made. Uh, that was the turning point of this fourth quarter. Yeah, a little bit of the of, game. A little bit of a bloody lip for Doug Herring 
As Freddie Leach is going to check back in. Remember, awaiting the winner of this game are the Singapore Slingers, who will have home court advantage in the best of five finals. Herring misses the first. The Knights have not really been impeccable from the line at the end game. This to make it a double digit spread. 85, 75, 60 seconds remaining in the season of Mono, unless they pull out a miracle here. Leash across, Leash, Lamb, three, no. Rebound Esho, foul given up by Morgan, and, and that, it appears to be it. That could be it, as Maxi Esho can put the finishing touches All five starters of the BTN TLS Knights in double figures, led by Doug Herring with 27 big points. Wong Wei Long, five triples. Herring with three. As a team, they've connected on 12 of 25. That's close to 50%. And close to what is usually the normal fare in this building for these Knights. Now we talked about how important three-point shooting was going to be here for the Knights number one three-point shooting team at 36 percent average about nine triples per game two for two for esho 87 75 seal less and a steal by herring and herring's gonna scoot in for the reverse jam and there's your player of the game 89-75, 40 seconds to go before the BTN CLS Knights officially enter the finals for the first time in franchise history as Freddie Leash can't get it to go. Jawato's going to get this across. Uh, what about, but you still have to give a lot of credit here for Mono Vampire, as you mentioned. You're right. Number eight seed, nobody thought... They would make it to the playoffs, but ended up sweeping the number one seed for most of Dreamers and then taking the BTN CLS Knights the distance. And they will dribble out the time. That's going to be, a, I believe, a shot clock violation. They that's turned a, off the shot clock at one point already, but... Well, that's a great display of sportsmanship here for Daryl Watkins and the Knights. So three seconds remaining, Freddie Leash. He's going to hang on to the ball, and that's going to do it. The BTN CLS Knights advance to the finals of the ASEAN Basketball League. And they will face the Singapore Slingers in a best of five final. Congratulations to the Knights, but also heads up for Mono Vampire. Celebration has begun here at the Gorkert Ajaya Gymnasium. And the prayers have been answered, young lady. You can smile now. And that was a game fitting of a game three. Undecided until the final moments of the last few minutes of the fourth quarter. Back and forth, biggest lead for BTN CLS Knights was 14 points. Biggest lead for Mona was five points. You look at the bloodied. Wong Wei Long. Looks like he came out of surgery or something. One of the heroes with five triples. Of course, Tyler Lamb coming up big for Mono Vampire. Romeo Travis, 16 points, 13 rebounds. Singletary, 13 points as well. But as they have done all season long, they have protected home floor. And they are on their way to their first final in franchise history. And it has taken a while before an Indonesian team actually made it to the finals. It was seven years ago when the Indonesia Warriors last went to the finals. It was eight years ago when an Indonesian team last won an ABL championship. And now they have a chance. And for the Singapore Slingers, they have been at the final, Marco, in three of the last four seasons, but have never won. That is right. Chance for redemption for the Singapore Slingers. But you look at Wong Wei Long, you can be sure part of him is thinking about that matchup 
against his former squad. There you go, Whitey, which means to win. And they still believe they have won. Brian Rousem, one of the leading candidates for coach of the year because of what he has achieved here for the BTN CLS Knights. But the celebration will be short-lived for these gentlemen on the floor as they now prepare to face the Singapore Slingers in the final. But for tonight, Marco, it is the night of the BTN CLS Knights. And outfitting Doug Herring, waving that flag in victory. Finishing with 30 points, 12 of 18 from the field. It was three out of five from long distance, seven rebounds, three assists, four steals. For the guy they have relied on pretty much the entire season. And of course, Maxi Esho. Subpar performance offensively, but. And big, they have a victory yep. chant here going on, Marco. Big points coming in the, in the fourth quarter and in the second half for Maxi Esho. Boy, this is otherworldly right now. It's a surreal experience seeing this from a team that started two and seven this season. And they're on their way to the finals. Now let's look at those matchups now long term between the Singapore Slingers and of course the BTN CLS9. Slingers have had their number this season. Okay, what a super game by Douglas Herring. What do you feel tonight? Uh, yeah, man, it feels amazing, man. Wow. Great energy tonight, hard for yeah. win. Uh, for the, the hard work that we put in, we deserve it. Yeah. The fans deserve it. I'm just happy we could give it to them. Man, 30 points and Surabaya love you. Surabaya love you. Uh, do you feel, are you ready, are the team re ready for the final? Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, we've been working hard. Yeah. We feel like we deserve it. We feel like we can play with anybody. Yeah. We got about five days to get ourselves mentally prepared, get a game plan ready. We got to come out ready to play. Thank you, Doc. No Thank you, General. Thank you, sir. Yes. Back to up. Thank you very much, Surabaya. That's a lot of energy displayed. This is where it all begins. The leap of faith. The first step to the journey towards the unknown, the challenging, the daunting. But when we're together, hand in hand, the journey becomes exciting. We're partners, you and I. Together, facing your fears, pursuing your passion, breaking boundaries, building your future, overcoming challenges, celebrating every achievement. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. The partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN.